Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will cover the topic of pages like 401, 403 and 404, how to find this issue and how to fix it. This issue deserves maximum attention. Such error lets you know that the content of the page isn't visible to search engines, which also means that the page won't be displayed in search results. This will impact organic traffic of the page. Importantly, if such error is detected by search engine, the respective page would be removed from their index and it might be troublesome to get it indexed again once the problem is solved. If multiple errors like this are detected on your website, search engines might even lower its ranking or the number of pages that are visible in the search. So let's find out how to find this issue. SiteChecker bot can help you to find URLs with such status because other pages on your website link to them. To check which pages contain the specific broken URL, you can click on See Referring Pages button. So, when we found all the URLs we need, the next question is how to fix the issue. Such errors are typically relatively easy to fix. The specific solution depends on the cause of the error. Generally, we divide them into these types. The first one would be all 400 status errors especially 404 errors. The next one is 403 and the last one is 401. Let's check the first type. First thing, check the URLs to see if they link to the correct pages. Typically, one would need to check for typos or for potential relocations of these pages to new URLs. If typos are detected in the URL, Corrections should be made wherever the wrong links have been used. Click on See Referring Pages to see where this URL can be found and eliminate the link with the mistake. For pages that have moved, it's best to create a 301 permanent redirect from the old URL to the new one. If for some reason it's impossible to do, you need to locate all the links to the old URL and fix them so they lead to the new one. If the URL doesn't have any typos and the page hasn't moved, it's probably that there is a mistake in the actual URL. Check the file name and directory structure of the URL. Check that there are no typos. Now let's see what can be done with 403 pages. Check that the URL links to a page with content rather than a directory listing since this is the most common cause behind 403 error. If the page indeed links to a directory listing, change all the links leading to this URL or create a 301 redirect to a new URL. Such error is also possible when requests from SiteChecker bot aren't accepted or blocked by a specific web server. To address this issue, the server setting has to be altered in order to allow requests from SiteChecker bot. And the last on the list is 401 pages. First, check whether the page is accessible without logging in. If it is, change your application code or web server settings in order to allow access for unauthenticated users. Conversely, if the page should only be accessible to logged in users, think about excluding it with the help of robots.txt file. And that would be all for today's tutorial. Have a nice day!